Good morning. Happy Thursday and happy Monday Thursday. Now, in case you're wondering what Monday Thursday is, um, Monday Thursday is the Thursday before Good Friday. And it's thought to believe that this is the last meal, the last Passover meal that Jesus shared with his disciples. It's also the meal that he humbled himself and washed the feet of his disciples. And Monday means command. And the reason it's a, a command is because it's also when Jesus gave a new command, um, he said in John 13:34, to love one another um, as I have loved you, you should love one another. And even though the Bible already has told us many times to love one another, this kind of ups the ante because we're supposed to love each other like Christ has loved us. And that, you know, brings it up a whole new level. So um, that's why many Christians, you know, celebrate Monday, Thursday. It's because it's the last time that Jesus ate Passover meal with his disciples before he was um, crucified on the cross. So um, I just wanted to bring that up today and share that with you in case you didn't know it. All right, but today's um, uh, devotion comes from John 3.20. And um, it says, what are you hiding? And John 3.20 says, Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear that their deeds will be exposed. If you do things that you hope no one finds out about, you will definitely want to stick to dark rooms, dark streets, dark corners, places where your behavior will be secret and hidden. That means you will be trying to hide things from Jesus. He is the true light, so being close to him will expose the things that you've been hiding or trying to hide. What are you hiding? Confess it, let it go, and come into the light. And 1 John 2, 8 says, I am writing you a new command. Its truth is seen in him and in you because the darkness is passing and the true light is already shining. Well, my friends, that's another one of these hard ones, isn't it? You know, um, if we all say that we don't have secret sin or whatever, then we're all lying. Because at some time or another, we've had sin in our life that we didn't want anybody to know about. And that's hiding our sin in the darkness. But it's when we try to deceive God with our sin that really is, um, well, number one, we can't do it. But it's... Um, you know, it's not good to try to hide from God because you can't. He knows everything that we do. He knows what we're going to do, when we're going to do it. So, you know, you can't hide from God. You can't hide from Jesus. And so eventually, um, even when you're trying to hide a secret behavior or a secret sin from people, your friends or people that know you, eventually the truth will come out because something will happen, something will slip up or whatever, and people will find out. So it's best to confess your sin before the Lord, let that sin go, and then move forward in the love and the grace of Christ that he's given us. You know, um, as I was talking about, you know, Monday, Thursday, you know, tomorrow is Good Friday, which is the day that our Lord and Savior was crucified on. And then he defeated death and rose from the grave on Sunday, Easter Sunday, to, you know, he did all this to give us grace, grace to forgive us for our sins, the sins that we've had in the past, the sins that we commit now, and the sins that we have in the future. So don't try to hide your sin. Confess your sin and let the grace and the love of Christ forgive those sins from you. All right, my friends, have a beautiful, blessed day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.